Hey my dear friends, it's Josie and welcome to today's video blog. Now in this video I want you to answer a question about energy vampires and how to protect yourself from people who drain you physically, emotionally, spiritually. Now I'm not here to judge anybody or label anybody, okay? This is an energy vampire. So we live in a human world, it's normal, your number one protection is to take care of yourself. Now, this is probably the most important psychic protection tip that I can ever give you in any situation. Take care of yourself, take care of your physical body, take care of your emotions, stay strong, feel good in your own skin, feel confident, feel powerful. It's very difficult for somebody to take away your energy when you're not giving it away easily. So if you're strong in your body every day, make it as your lifestyle. I'm confident, I'm strong, take care of your physical body, eat healthy, sleep well, be just happier, healthier person. Now, this is your best psychic defense. You feel it, right? The vibe of somebody who is strong, versus somebody who is weak, who feels like a victim. I don't feel well today, my, my energy is so low. Well, that's when you will see these psychic vampires will be attracted to low energies because there's no defense. There's no natural psychic defense. Your natural psychic defense is when you're strong in your own body, in your own sense of self. So the second way for you to protect yourself is to work through your fears. One of the most common emotions that attracts energy vampires is fear. So when you feel fearful, when you're in front of somebody and you feel like your body is unsettled, you feel restless, maybe a little bit anxious, this is your body's giving you feedback about the energy of another person. So if you feel fear rising in you, oh, I don't know what to do, fear will lower your energy. Fear will lower your own psychic protection mechanism. Return to your breath. Center your body. Put your body into the position of power. Breathe. Maybe disconnect from your environment for a few moments and gain your composure, gain your peacefulness back. And then continue conversation from that position of power. But fear, when you feel that fear, Catch it and work through it. Lift yourself up. So the third way for you to deal with energy vampires and to protect yourself is to keep your distance. Such a simple thing. And you may notice that people who are energy possessive, they want to be close to you. They want to be in your proximity. They want to be in your energy field, in your aura. And that's when you begin to notice sensations, unpleasant sensations in your body. So move away. Just take a step forward. Don't just jump. Step forward gently, lovingly. So that's when you begin to feel better. This is your feedback. When you feel better, it means that there is no connection, there is no impact. You're simply keeping yourself protected by staying away, like literally, physically, keeping your distance from somebody with whom you're just, you're not feeling well. So the fourth way for you to protect yourself from energy vampires, from psychic vampires, is to use white light visualization of white light. You can surround yourself with white light. If you're in front of somebody and you are not, you don't feel that sensations of peace, surround yourself with white light. Imagine white light, your aura is pure white light energy. This is your shield because energy flows where your focus goes, where your attention goes. If you keep your focus on that white light, that will create energy protection for you and sometimes that happens to me sometimes when I am too stressed out I can react to other people and if I feel that I could be that energy vampire for somebody I just surround myself with white light and these emotions these negative emotions if they are in me if I experience 
anger or fear in me and I don't want this energy to be transferred onto anybody until I work through these emotions. I simply surround myself with white light and I say, Josie, heal. Josie, let go, release, go into that place of silence within you. Calm down, breathe. Be that white light and then you can go out into the world and talk to people. So I give myself a break. I give myself some time to calm down. And that white light helps you to protect yourself in any situation. And finally, number five, the way for you to stand against people who are energy possessive is to bless them. Send them blessings. You can bless them in your mind. And I bless people out loud <laughs> because what blessing is, is that counter action to any negative energy that is sent your way. I've done videos on how to reverse curses. And you do this with blessings. The same technique is the same process. When you feel like somebody's sending you negative energy or you're just in front of somebody who's just draining you, you feel tired, you feel like, you you just you're not comfortable in your skin so that's when you can just mentally send them blessing whatever they're going through whatever vibes they're sending your way you can always stop this energy by sending them the opposite force which is a blessing i bless you i bless you the spirit in me sees that spirit in you and i send you love Whatever you are going through, whoever you are, I know that there is a divine soul that is loved and I give you my blessing. I send you my love. Be well. May your loved ones be well. May your energy be turned into love so you can be happy, so you can be healthy. Yeah, it's a big blessing. But this is how I treat negativity. I treat people who are so-called energy vampires and it works. I feel immediately at peace. I don't have any fear and I know because I feel stronger. I feel more powerful. If I can bless somebody, I always do it from the position of power, position of confidence and self-love as well. So here you go, my friends. I hope this served you. And if you want to share your stories, put them in comments below. I love you. Be well, be protected. And I'll chat with you in the next video.